Welcome to Bark House and Nature Bites. Today we're talking about a unique part of the natural history here at in Green Bay, especially along the west shore, and that's northern pike spawning. We have started to see some northern pike working their way up the roadside ditches, creeks, and rivers to spawn. And how this process starts is usually about mid-March, late March possibly, depending on the weather, when the ice is starting to melt out of all these wetlands, northern pike start coming up from the bay and working their way to shallow marshes to spawn. Now you might see some adult northern pike in wetlands like this when they're still icing them, but they're not getting ready to spawn yet. They gotta wait till that water temperature gets to be about 50 degrees. And these wetlands aren't very deep. What they're looking for, they're gonna look for shallow wetlands that could be eight inches deep to two feet. And especially some of these wetlands not even close to the bay. They might be four, or five, 10 miles inland. So they're really gonna search for these shallow wetlands. Once they find some, and especially ones with vegetation in it, they're gonna lay their eggs, several thousand eggs, and the eggs will stick to that vegetation. The adults will leave, head back to the bay. The eggs will stay there for about two weeks, and that's when they're gonna hatch. When the fry leave those eggs, they're gonna roam around for about a day or two, and they're gonna look around for something to attach to. And this is kind of weird, kind of cool, but basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna have this thread, this mucus thread come out of their forehead. So imagine my forehead, which is easy to do, and a thread coming out of it, and that's gonna to attach to a piece of grass. And it's almost like a kite where they're just gonna be attached to that piece of grass and kind of float around there. And they're just gonna stay there for about four to five days and they're gonna eat this egg sac yolk on them for that time period. And then they're gonna detach and roam around wetlands for about six weeks. And one thing to remember too, those pike fry, when they hatched out of the eggs, they're only about a half inch long, very small, which is crazy to think about, think how large pike can get. So when they're roaming around for that six week period, those northern pike fry are eating fish, small fish, insects, zooplankton, and after that six weeks, then they go back out to the bay. Ideally, about four inches long for a pike fry to go out the bay really helps their survival rate. Now you can imagine there's a lot of challenges in northern pike spawning. Some years these wetlands don't flood up enough, some years are dry too quickly. I mean, if you think about it, these wetlands have to be flooded at the right time for the adults to get up, lay their eggs to be able to leave again, and then it has to stay wet enough and flood long enough for the eggs to hatch, and then those wetlands have to remain wet enough and flood enough again for those fry and come roam around and find food and eventually may make their way out to the bay. There's a lot of challenges in northern pike spawning, so every year is a little bit different, and these wetlands that they use are really critical for not just them, but for a variety of wetland species such as frogs, reptiles, wetland birds, mammals. So these wetlands are really, really important. So northern pike, lots of challenges with spawning. They've been doing this for a very long time with a lot of restoration efforts here along, around Green Bay, especially along the West Shore. They'll hopefully be doing this for many years to come. We hope to enjoy this episode of Bark House and Nature Bites.